hello guys and welcome back to another video uh, in the previous video we learned about uh, how to create a GUI application so a basic application uh, using the PyQt5 framework and uh, the designer PyQt5 designer uh, so uh, as I've told uh, in this video uh, we'll uh, see about a small application uh, created in PyQt5 GUI PyQt5 GUI framework so this is the application and I'll be not explaining you entirely everything um, because it is a bit lengthy and uh, I'll be just explaining you uh, bits of here and there and um, the code will be uh, available in the link in the description below so you can go uh, contribute yourself if there is any improvement to it or if there is any errors you can uh, surely comment down in the uh, comment section below and uh, so I'll just show you the output so this entire application has been created in PyQt5 framework uh, as it is more robust and easy to create once you get how to work inside the uh, PyQt5 environment it is pretty easy to build more uh, robust and big applications uh, when it's compared to kinter so so this is the output this is the student record maintainer as i've named it so this is a basic uh, window and as it's it is empty right now so there are certain um, actions over here that is uh, add student refresh search delete so this is a, a tabular format in the window itself uh, which uh, it which is easy to be performed in myqt as it supports that very easily when it's compared to the kinter framework and this is a and so student search and delete as well in the menus and this is a like a, a kinter message box so this is a kind of a message box which pops up when it's clicked and shows the information about the user or the developer so uh, getting into it add student so a window pops up and um, you can type in the name the branch electronics the sem fourth provide a simple number and you can provide your address I'm just providing anything which is irrelevant just to showcase that this application works so when I click this register another window pops up and shows the register uh, student has been successfully uh, register to the database so where is it where is it right you can't see it so once the student is registered you need to refresh it right so you get it over here in the main window itself so it is a tabular format one by one or when you uh, add students or insert, uh, insert students into it you'll get an output like this it is just that simple and we'll just add one more like a text electrical sem one two sorry provide a number demo number address k file anything rubbish no problem you can type it a legit address in it no problem it's up to you register okay add refresh so second texture electrical added we'll add another one uh, sam let's put it into information technology sam 8 number any random number address as same you can just type anything register registered successfully refresh and that's it so uh, now if you want to search someone 
which is registered in the database right there is a window for search option so you need to search via a roll number so i want to find someone with roll number two right so roll number two name dexter electrical sim and address so that's if uh, that's the phone number uh, okay i'll look into it no problem but this is how it appears it uh, shows the uh, roll number on the name branch and sim that's more that is uh, enough i guess to search a candidate so this is how you can search if you want to delete someone from the existing table or the existing record just provide the roll number so to delete right refresh so that record is gone so the students right now in the table is one and three only so these are the basic operations you can perform so it is similar in the menu as well there is nothing new in it and when it comes to about so this is like a message box in pyqt5 with a label image copyright and well that doesn't matter no problem and so that's it for this application it doesn't do much so now i'll come to the code part right so the it is entirely made on um, pyqt5 it is uh, using the sqlite 3 database so i'll just show you the database so this is a database which we have uh, created or initialized to when this application was uh, executed and this is the folder for icons so the whatever icons which we have here this refresh search delete and file etc you need to put it into a folder and provide a path into the code so i'll just show you don't worry about it but based on your preference you can choose any icon you want so i'll just get into the code so uh, for every window what i've done here is that i've created a class and initialized it using a constructor so for the insert dialog window insert window basically so i'll just show you so when i click this so this is a uh, separate window so it is a window with name the branch same mobile address and a widget these are all widgets in a particular window so for that i've created an entire class this and it is connected via database right so here in this uh, function i've added the student information into a database so this is the insert method sqlite operation as you know it add student operation which adds student into the database right for search so now when it comes to search i'll just close this and uh, search sorry search so this is another window right this is another separate window with its own entry field and a button right so for that i've created a similar approach i've used a similar approach like the insert dialog or insert student um, method from where so the basically the search operation is performed on the basic basis of the select operation so what a select operation does is that it will uh, list out all the students within the database so from that operation i've selected uh, roll number as an um, value or a variable to search students within the database so this is a query for it and this is a function for searching students within the database right so this is the method or and the class and the constructor itself for the search dialog similarly for class and constructor constructor sorry for the delete dialog window and this is the method for it for deleting any record 
from the database that is within a table right and for the about section so I'll just cancel out about developer so this is not the window it's like a message box or what you want to name it I've created a class a constructor using widgets and this is for the uh, about dialog window so as you can see over here these are the functions which we use in PyQt5 for providing a label, font size, font, uh, point size, the position of the uh, widgets and etc. So for placing that particular icon which I have already shown over here. So for this icon in about section. So this um, as a label or a image uh, as you can see it in the about section is used using a label sorry this uh, this method that is uh, pix map so this is an inbuilt function which is provided in pyqt5 for uh, inserting any kind of um, icon or image into the window of an application so it is same for all so i'll just show you over here down over here okay so this is for um about window now coming to the main window right so i'm now i'm talking about this main actual window this main window right nothing um inside of it so this main main window so this is the class which I've created and a constructor for it. These are the labels. And which is provided over here that is roll number, name, branch, sem and address. There is some issue with the address. I need to work out in it. Probably I will show you in the next video about it. But if you can uh, solve that issue. It will be really helpful for me and I'll to get to learn something so it's an issue if you can solve it welcome and uh, this is a state say status bar so what is a status bar tool over here you can see when I'll hover on these icons you can see down at the bottom of the window search refresh table search user and delete that is something which shows information about particular icon or a widget etc yes and for the icons for the for those insert and etc for this images or icons i've used this method inbuilt icon and provided the path for it similarly for all i've used the same so need not to be get confused for it and uh, when it comes to the refresh um, method what it will do is that uh, it it will go to the database and it will in, uh, enumerate and uh, provide a list of results which is present in the database and show you in the main window which is this right when you click onto the refresh it will um, execute a function which will uh, list out all the content within within the database right so this is how the information about the students get into the main window right main window table or tableau format etc so again i'll just show you again so can electrical for random number random address and register okay refresh so this is how this load self over here method works for enumerating the uh, or uh, looping out the list of content or list of information of a particular students and um, displaying into this main window widget right and what this particular function will do is that it will print out 
uh, in a sorry so it will print out the information in a call it as a tableau form so rows and columns format it looks like a table within a window itself right so the function of that is just to uh, arrange those information in a tabular format that is rows and columns right that's it and for every window which you have created as a separate entity you need to execute that window right so for insert delete as i've shown you in the previous video i've used i'll show you again so this call dot show and app dot execute so to um, show your application as an output or a window you need to use this operation so similarly for this application you need to perform this right so for every window separate window you need to use this or you need to call this right so for that it was it and this is for the main uh, main window ui you need to call that too so it will everything will be binded and ran as a single application so if you want to type it take your time you can do that i'll just show you the code this is the starting point By the way, the code will be provided in the description link below. So you can go check there out too and you can provide your own inputs and improve this application to another level. So there is one more thing left that is how you can update uh, the existing uh, information of a student. So I'll be more uh, happy to see people providing uh, more functionalities functionalities to this application so if you can provide uh, an update method to this existing application it would be really good so i like you to uh, contribute to this application and so this is the code pretty much of it and uh, so this is uh, it for this video guys and uh, if you have any questions queries or concerns about this application or how i made it or any issues regarding this you can surely comment down below in the disc uh, comment section and uh, thanks for watching